Hi everybody, this is the Baseball Hut, the amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one, the people's champion, your host, Hut, and welcome back to Baseball Hut 2. Hope you like this video, hit that subscribe button. So, we have playoff baseball now. Uh, the first games were played on Tuesday, and of course the Mets played the Brewers in a, in a really unbelievable game. Uh, the Mets were behind early in this game, they, were, they fell behind twice in the game, and they came back run back, and they, they basically finished up the, the Brewers uh, over half the game. They uh, retired the last 17 batters in the game. But this video is not so much about the game, but what happened during the broadcast. Your host and like you were, were held hostage watching this broadcast. And at first I thought to myself, this was like the Brewers broadcast. Because I guess the announcer, I guess he does the Brewers games. It's not Bob Euchre. It's not Bob Euchre. But then again, Bob Euchre is like 190 years old at this point. Uh, and they had former Major League uh, outfielder, Doug Lanville. Can somebody get Doug a cough drop, a lozenge? Who he is? I know, lady. That was a good play. You know, I mean, really. But there came a point, I guess, in the third inning, uh, where ESPN thought it would be a great idea to do a segment with one of the Brewers, uh, Christian Yelich, the former Marlin. Uh... Who Christian Yelich, by the way, always has a blank stare on his face, even when he's playing. He's one of the great talents in baseball of the last five, ten years. But he always looks like he has a blank stare on his face. He always looks like he's bored to death. And it showed. And, it, and it, he can't help it. He's Some people have bitch-made face, bitch -made faces. But this guy has a bored face. He looks bored. And even though I'm looking at this picture of him, he looks bored. And he looked bored doing the, the interview. This is an awful announcing. Everyone hated ESPN's Christian Yelich in-game interview. Quote, love that we're just ignoring a playoff game for a generic interview with a guy who hasn't played in three months. It was like a, a spring training interview. I mean, that's how it felt to me as your humble host. And that's a humble host. You can't please everyone. We'll get that cliche out of the way first. The baseball fans aren't looking to be pleased during the playoffs. They want to be entertained. And to them, nothing is entertaining about watching or listening to an in-game interview right smack dab in the middle of a playoff game. It went on for 15 minutes. It wasn't like talking to, to Yelich for two minutes. They spent the whole half inning talking to this son of a bitch. When every pitch... and It's no, nothing personal. Just being comical. When, when I say that. When every pitch matters in October, listen to a player who's been sidelined since July talk, talk isn't exactly endearing to the average baseball fan, regardless of whether they support the Brewers or the Mets. Although it felt like a Brewers broadcast. So despite Christian Yelich being one of the better personalities in the sport he is, he looked bored to death. He always looks bored. I don't look at Christian Yelich, oh, that guy's a funny guy. That's the next Bob Euchre. You know, and most baseball players, even the ones that are supposedly funny, like supposed Jerry Blevins, who, you know, does the games for the Mets here on SNY, he's boring too. Few people were interested in hearing from the Milwaukee Brewers all-star outfielder was wax poetic about this team calling themselves the Average Joes. Tell that the Christian Yelich has like, what, a $200 million contract? Not too, not too many Average Joes uh, have a $200 million contract. What's the money that Jackson Chirillo signed with the Brewers? It was over $100 million. That's an average Joe for you. While its manager, Pat Murphy, eerily resembles Patch, Patches O'Houlihan. I know one thing about Pat Murphy. He's no Miller Huggins. This is not Casey staying on his prime as a manager. If you wanted to watch dodgeball, you'd tune into FX in the middle of a weekday afternoon, not during the MLB playoffs. Yeah, I mean, I've never seen dodgeball. Was that that Ben Stiller, uh, Vince Vaughn movie? I've never seen it. Most, I don't know who's seen it. He's been a successfully integrated player is being mic'd up into its Sunday Night Baseball coverage, and Carl Ravage is incredibly proud of this. It's worked, except when it hasn't, but for the most part, it's an enjoyable part of ESPN's MLB coverage. The, the fun part is the players being on the field, not when they're in the dugout. With the playoffs in tow, there's the possibility of players being mic'd up. Still, with every pitch mattering, the financial incentive to do so when players already enjoy a playoff share might not m mean much. 
Well, we don't know what will transpire in the second game of the National League wildcard round between the Mets and the Brewers. Anything similar to what happened with Yelich will be well received by people watching a playoff game. They were anything but pleased on Tuesday. Now, I certainly wasn't. Here's from one person. My TV production notes that TV producers do not care about it. It's the postseason. Baseball fans do not want many interviews during the action. We want to focus on the game. The in next in-game interview that provides true insights will be the first. This is from Giraffe Neck Mark, quote-unquote, also known as Pencil Neck Mark. He's not, he doesn't look like a tall guy. When you think of a giraffe, don't you think of a tall creature? He's not a tall creature. He's got to be five foot seven, five foot six. He's got a pencil neck. He's pencil neck, Mark. Nothing against Christian Yelich. Now, people are going to say, why would you say something negative about a YouTuber? I don't care. He ain't my friend. I have no friends in the YouTube realm on the baseball side. Nothing against Christian Yelich, but get him off my screen. Why do I need to physically see him talk in his, this absolutely pointless in-game interview? Well, the pencil neck is right. The pencil neck is right. Mike Mayer from Mets Marais. Why is ESPN spending like 10 minutes during the game and interviewing a player who isn't even playing in the series? But it's not even so much that, folks. Uh, this, is a, this was an interview that had zero value to the broadcast. Zero insight to anything. They didn't ask him about his rehab very little. He's not playing. He's not going to play until spring training. Okay. Uh, and it went on 10 minutes too long. They should have talked to him for a minute or two and said, how you doing, Christian? What do you think of the game? And even when they asked him about this sort of going back and forth between Willie Adams and Jesse Winker, he didn't want to talk about it. So if you don't want to talk about it, why are you mic'd up, asshole? Stuff's going to happen. He didn't even make a joke out of it. He didn't even make a joke out of it. What a great personality. What an on-air savant. The room lights up when he when that camera's going on. This is from Danny Abriano. This is game one of the playoff series, and the announcers are asking Christian Yelich about dodgeball during an interview. This coming a half inning after they missed part of it in a bat for an in-game ad. Uh, I would mention ESPN is run by Disney, and Disney is a disaster. They have all kinds of problems on the entertainment side. They figured they would do that here. Ugh. Oh. My goodness, where's Jessica Mendoza when you need her? I'd rather hear her, her screeching. I understand they got someone like that uh, doing the games on uh, on the, or the Orioles Tigers uh, series. Sorry. But this is the kind of crap ESPN puts out there. This is, this is the kind of garbage ESPN does all the damn time. Now let me know what you think about this video. And of course... We have a new nickname for somebody I've been thinking about for a long time. Pencil Neck Mark, also known as Giraffe Neck Mark. Uh, another guy that is pretty stuck up. They're all stuck up, every single one of these YouTubers. And thank you for watching on that wonderful note. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button before you go, and I'll see you later.